Hi everybody, it's Claire from Claire's Food Haven. Today I'm going to be looking at some of the other features that the Kazori Twin Fry Air Fryer does. I've already done some air frying on it, I've cooked a roast dinner on it. Now I want to have a look at the grill, so I'm going to grill some cheese on toast. So the Kazori Twin Fry Air Fryer is quite big, it's 10 litres, so you can fit a lot in here. I'm just going to pull it out and show you. So I'm going to be putting my bread in one of these sides here it's quite handy it fits two slices in so I wanted to make more I could I could put another two slices in there and use both zones but for now we're just going to be using the one zone um, and grilling two slices of toast okay I'm going to be going on zone two and I'm going to be grilling, so I select grill. There's all these different options here. So you've got air fry, roast, bake, grill, reheat, and dry. So we're going to be grilling some cheese on toast. To find out how long I grilled my toast for, I'm going to go on the V-Sync app, which is free to get, and you can hook your Kasori device up to it. So this time I've got my air fryer hooked up to it. So I'll click on air fryer, there it is. And then I go down to cooking chart here. Click on cooking chat and it tells you all the shows you all the different foods and the different cooking times. So I'm going to go down to others at the bottom there. And it says toast. So I'm going to click on toast. I'm going to be using white bread. It recommends uh, I'll put a serving size 50 grams. Zone one in the basket. 240 degrees for four minutes. So we've got it on 240 degrees. We're gonna, I'm gonna put it on for three minutes because I want to see if it grills the toast on both sides or not before I add my cheese onto it. So it's been on for three minutes. It just beat, did a cool for a few seconds and it's ended. Let's have a look at this toast. It's toasted on that side. It's toasted on that side a little bit. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put my cheese on this side and then we're going to grill it for another three minutes and see how it goes. I'm just going to sprinkle some cheddar cheese onto each slice. And I'm going to grill this for another three minutes. So zone two, grill, 240. Three minutes. It's counting down, it's smelling really good. I can smell the cheese cooking away. Oh, so now it's cooling. Right, let's open it up and have a look. Oh, lovely. That cheese is bubbling away there. Mmm. A little bit of Worcester sauce on my cheese on toast. Cheese on toast cooked on the Kazori Twin Fry Air Fryer. I'm looking forward to trying this. Mmm. That's beautiful. Really good. And the great thing about grilling this way is I don't have to worry about burning it because it's set on a timer counts down but the wonderful thing about this Kazori twin fry air fryer is that I'll never have to burn my toast again. Next I'm going to try baking some sultana cookies on the Kazori twin fry air fryer. For the ingredients I will be using 150 grams of self-raising flour or you could use plain flour with baking powder, 120 grams of butter, 125 grams of sugar, one beaten egg and 110 grams of sultanas, or you could use chopped chips. Let's get baking. First, I'm gonna add the sugar in for the butter and give it a good mix. We want to beat it until it's light and fluffy. I'm following the recipe from Claire and Errol's original recipe book, which we started 20 years ago. Now I'm going to add the beaten egg and stir that in together. I'm 
we go. Okay, now to add the flour. And fold that in and the sultanas. And just fold it all in. Next, I'm going to pop some flour on this. And some flour on my hands. Put a bit more flour on the other side as well, just to help with the stickiness. The Kazori Twin Fry Air Fryer has three zones for cooking on. So I want to be baking on the grand zone. So if you look at all these different functions here, we're going to choose bake. Now to get, get it ready, I'm going to open up the drawer, just show you. This is like... What you've got, you've got a, a divider in there, you've got your two grill pans which come out really easily and I'm going to be baking using the whole of this tin. Now on the V-Sync app, which is free to download, it suggests I bake them at 170 degrees for 13 minutes on bake mode. On the chef tips it says spray crisper plate with oil or line with parchment paper. Let cookies rest on crisper plate for 5-10 minutes before removing. I'm going to pop the crisper plates back in. I'm going to leave the divider out. And I'm going to put the parchment paper onto the crisper plates. Okay, now I'm going to cut out the cookies and pop them onto the parchment paper. So I'm going to be using the whole of the 10 litre tray, I'm going to be cooking on the grand zone for 13 minutes at 170 degrees. The cookies have just finished, let's have a look at them. Oh, they look lovely. I have to leave them to cool for 5 to 10 minutes now. Ooh, you can't beat the smell of a freshly baked cookie. Mmm. Beautiful. It's cooked it really nice and evenly all the way through. I love my cookie. Baked on the Kazori Twin Fry Air Fryer. The final mode I'm going to try out on the Kazori Twin Fry Air Fryer is the dehydrate mode. This afternoon I'm going to dehydrate some sliced banana and some sliced apple. So we're going to have the sliced apple in one side. And we're going to have the sliced banana on the other side. Okay, we're going to have zone one, dehydrate, 60 degrees for six hours. And zone two is going to be dehydrate, 60 degrees for six hours. Let's see what happens. And you can hear when it's dehydrating, it's much quieter than when you're using the other functions on the air fryer. So it's been on for nearly three hours. Let's have a look at it. How is it doing? Ooh. 
think it definitely needs a bit longer. So I'll pop it back on. Yeah, they still feel a bit soft. So the fruit's been on dehydrate for four and a half hours now and it's still a little bit soft so I'm going to turn up the temperature a little bit. So I've just set the dehydrate to go at 95 degrees which is the highest temperature for an hour and a half on each zone. So the fruit has been dehydrating away there in the Kazori twin fry air fryer for 45 minutes on a higher temperature so I'm just going to have a look at it. Okay, the apple looks uh, looks pretty good. It's fairly dry, I think. And the banana, maybe a little bit longer for the banana, but I think this apple's done. So I'm going to take the apple out now. Well, I've taken the apple out. I've left the banana in. I'm going to let that dry just a little bit longer I think. I'm just going to reset it by turning it off, turn it back on and we'll just do zone one. Dehydrate on the high highest temperature again which was 95 and then we're just going to do an hour. So here's a piece of the dehydrated apple. Mm. It tastes lovely. Full of flavour. Quite easy to chew. Mm. definitely got a sweetness to it. So with the rest of this apple I'm going to store it in an airtight container and I can enjoy that over the next few days or a few weeks even. And that's the banana finished. So here's the dehydrated banana cooked in the Kazori twin fry air fryer. Mmm. It's a little bit crunchy, a little bit chewy, sweet, and definitely a bit of banana, so lovely. Crispy dried apple and banana for healthy snacks. I am absolutely delighted with this Kazori Twin Fry Air Fryer. Not only is it an excellent air fryer, you can also roast dinners, bake cookies and cakes, grill cheese on toast, dehydrate food and reheat your meals. Who needs a microwave or a conventional oven when you've got the Kazori Twin Fry Air Fry?